Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Sagittarius. Alrighty, Sag, we're doing it a little bit different this week where I'm uh, getting your energy first, what you're going through, what you need to hear and know. And then we'll get the energy of your person or someone you're interested in or dealing with romantically. Okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Sagittarius? What do they need to hear and know? Okay. Sagittarius. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Sagittarius? Show me Sagittarius. What do they need to hear and know for this week? Okay. 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 Something jumped. Okay. There we go. Mental conflict. Okay. That's the first card to come out. Okay. We just had a stack. We have moving on. And we have the devil energy, temptation, okay? Capricorn's energy coming through. We also had some other ones to come out. Firm foundation and accelerated motion. I feel like just touching these cards, like some of you are really in the process of setting yourselves firmly. That could be, you know, in your neighborhood, on a job. It's like you're trying to set yourself Set, set yourself up for success, I feel. Accelerated motion. Some of you are trying to get things going, get things moving, trying to get stable for a lot of you, okay? So I'm gonna put those to the side, but that's just the initial energy that I'm getting with that. At the bottom of the deck is the base chakra. So your energy could be very low right now, okay? Some of you may feel tired, Okay, you may be going through different things as far as your mental health, uh, your physical health. There's something here with base chakra. It's very low vibing with the, the devil energy. This is the devil energy of the chakras. Okay, so some of you may need to cleanse this type of energy out or, you know, kind of set yourself up for a positive affirmations, speak positive affirmations this week and get some rest, okay, with that uh, base chakra there. Yeah, shadow side. Some of you need to deal with your shadow side. Maybe you have emotions that you don't talk about, things that you pin up or keep to yourself. Some of you need to learn how to face your emotions or deal with your emotions and come out of that lower vibing energy. Yeah, to have victory and success. Okay, I feel like something has been a struggle for you to get there. Um, even in your love life, things may have struggled, okay, with the Ace of Cups. And standing your ground, it's time to stand your ground. It's time to, um, I feel like standing your ground to the point of, you know, I'm going to get rest. I'm going to do what's best for me, okay? And not thinking so much about, you know, other people or other people's situations, but more so focused on yourself and taking care of yourself. Okay. Cause with the devil energy and with base chakra coming out for you, that tells me that you are in your lower level energies. Okay. So it's time to elevate. It's time to come out of your lower self and come into your higher self. Okay. There's a lot of things with your shadow side that you have to deal with. Okay. And it may be things that you ignore. It may be things that you don't want to face, but you need to face them. Okay. With mental conflict, you got a lot going on, on in your mind. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with headaches, migraines, uh, high blood pressure. Okay. With mental conflict, sinus pressure for some of you, you could be going through that right now. You just have a lot on your mind. There's a lot of things that you're tossing back and forth. Uh, you may feel uh, insecure about some things even, okay? And you want to move on from being conflicted mentally. You want to move on from that. <clears throat> I feel like some of you may be dealing with issues of abandonment, wondering why someone left or why someone is moving on from you or this does not have to be about love. I'm not even getting love right now. I'm saying in your life, maybe even as a child, <clears throat> as a child, you may have experienced this 
um, issues of abandonment and you think about how people have left you or, and take it as it resonates. It, Sag, if it's not your story, I'll get you next week. But this is what I'm getting with this energy. What's on your mind is how people have left you or people have moved on from you. This could have been happening in the childhood, okay? And this may be the devil energy that you keep having to deal with. And I feel like some of you, um, you repress this in your shadow side. You kind of repress this and you don't want to deal with those issues, but it's time, okay? It's time to move on from feeling burdened with issues of the past or issues of your parents, uh, things that didn't go right, things that didn't work out for you, even with jobs or finances, school, things that did not happen for you. I feel like some of you could be dealing with anger, like a lot of anger, um, questioning. Some of you are questioning why certain things happen. Why didn't things take off the way that, that they were supposed to? Or you may be saying, why do I get the short end of the stick in this area or this area? Okay. That's what I'm getting. Okay. For you, Sag, let's clarify. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me Sagittarius. What else are they going through? What do they need to hear and know? Some of these messages, uh, you guys, are just confirmation for what you already know. It's just confirmation. Show me Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah. Six of Cups. I'm telling you, there's something with the childhood for some of you who are watching. There's something with the childhood that is on your mind. Um, some of you could have felt abandoned by parents. <clears throat> left out in the cold. There's something with the childhood that you need to pay attention to. Of course, it'll be different for every one of you. Um, but I feel like something happened in the childhood. The two of cups came out just now. Yeah. I feel some of you are moving on from a significant friendship. Some of you ha have just moved on from a friend or some of you could have moved on from a relationship or this is what's currently happening. Okay. With the two of cups coming out right on top of moving on. So some of you are letting go of people and you're realizing that this is for your own happiness. This is for your own good with the sun card. Okay. Some other stuff came out. <clears throat> yeah. With the six of wands and the seven of cups, you could feel like, okay, I'm moving on, but I don't know where, or I want to move on, but I don't know where to go or what to do. If I do move on, what should I do? You know, where, where can I go? Some of you may be looking for a new place to go, a new job. And we also have the will of fortune with the king of pentacles and the nine of wands. Y'all, I'm going to tell you right now, get off of that job. Okay. If you are not happy on your job, it's time to leave. You may not know what, what your next option is. I just dropped a card. You may not know what your next option is when it comes to, you know, leaving a position, but I'm telling you now, it's time for you to leave a job. Okay. So that's for some of you. Let me pick up this card that fell. <clears throat> yeah, it was the nine of wands. So you could... Some of you could be uh, getting into it with who you work with, or you don't like the people that you work with when it comes to the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. There's something there with who you work with, okay? Or your money or your financial situation. Someone who has power or someone who has a position, you're being very guarded with this person with the Nine of Wands energy. I feel like some of you are irritated with your jobs. Uh, some of you may be irritated with someone that you were with for a while. Okay. Someone you've been with, there's a lot of animosity and there's a lot of anger there. Okay. And the will of fortune is here to tell you the will is trying to turn in your favor. Um, but you have to release something. You have to let something go. And that may be why the devil energy is here as well. Okay. Holding on to things that you don't need to hold on to anymore and learning how to let go and move forward. Even though seven of cups, there's confusion about where to go, okay? Learning how to let go even though you don't know everything. Some of you, um, there could be a child involved. Show me Sagittarius, what's going on? Three of Pentacles with the Judgment card, yeah. Apply 
I want to say apply for that job. Even if you have not heard back from anyone, apply again. Okay. Apply again, talk to someone, call again and see what's going on if you haven't heard back. Okay. Some of you are um, needing to move with the three of pentacles, needing to move, needing to use your judgment. Okay. Don't be afraid to speak up on your job. Don't be afraid to speak up if you need to move or if you need to move out, okay? I'm feeling like um, there's a bit of a controlling energy around you, so be careful of that. Someone could be very controlling around you, which is the devil energy. It could mean control, okay? Someone could be controlling you through finances or through money, so be aware of that, okay? That someone could be trying to keep you with them or something or keep you at a job when you know it's bad, it's, it may be a bad environment, a, a bad living situation, but someone may be holding control because they may have the control of the finances. Do you see what I'm saying? So be aware of that. Don't feel like you're stuck. Hang man. Okay. Show me Sagittarius. What's going on with Sag? Show me Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? What do they need to hear and know? Divine spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Sagittarius? Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is going on? What are you running from? Okay. You're stressing out. You have a lot on your mind. Some of you are not resting. You're not sleeping. Oh man, I'm getting a, a really negative energy with this. This will not be for all of you, but I'm feeling like uh, something could have happened to you. Um, in the middle of the night, I want to be very sensitive as I speak on that part. Something could have happened to you. I don't know what age you were, but something could have happened to you. Okay. In the middle of the night and some, something was done. Okay. You don't trust a lot of people. You, you just, you don't trust. Okay. Some of you have trouble sleeping. You literally have trouble sleeping. Some of you could be uh, having nightmares or very intense dreams right now. Okay, with the nine of swords and the seven of swords. Others of you, I feel like you're running from a situation. There may have been some type of physical abuse or mental abuse going on. I feel that energy with the, these two cards. There could be physical abuse or mental abuse happening. Some of you verbal abuse, okay? Okay. Seven of Pentacles <clears throat> is at the bottom of the deck. There could have been something in the childhood or something in your past that was kept a secret, okay, with the High Priestess. Some of you need to be healed, yeah, with the Star card. You need to be healed from living in secrecy, healed from living in a place where uh, you've had to repress things or suppress things from your past, Seven of Pentacles, okay? Okay. I feel like um, <clears throat> for some of you, you did not get what you should have gotten when you were a child, okay? Maybe you weren't nurtured enough. You weren't loved on enough. You weren't affirmed by your parents if you had parents um, that were around. You weren't affirmed. If you were raised by other people or someone else, you were not affirmed, okay? Someone needed to love on you, nurture you, show more affection. And I feel like if... Uh, I'm speaking to some Sagittariuses who, if you had parents that were very hard on you or uh, some of you got kicked out, I'm getting that even. Some of you were kicked out at a young age and you didn't know where to go. Um, I'm getting the ages 14 through 16, uh, somewhere in there where you were told to leave the home or told to exit uh, where you were, your place of living. <clears throat> Some of you may have even experienced homelessness, okay? With the nine of swords, seven of swords. I'm getting that energy strongly. Wow. Heavy energy, I know, but that's what's coming through for you, Sagittarius. Any advice? What has Sagittarius been going through? Any advice or insight? Okay, what, what we got? Journey. Yeah, I feel like it's been a long journey. Yeah, you've been through a lot. <clears throat> Yeah, lovers could have been a long journey, could have been with someone for a long time, okay? But I see you moving on. Unexpected income, yeah. It's time to change jobs. It's it's time to leave what you've <clears throat> worked. 
I feel like where you've worked for a long time, it may be time to leave that job, okay? Time to do something that you really love with unexpected income. Judication. <clears throat> Someone could be going through a court battle. Something is tied up in court with judication, okay? And then one more came out, main female. You, you could be going through this with a main female or you are the main female, okay? Um, I feel like some of you are stepping into a place where you're able to say, you know what, I'm going to put myself first, okay? Creating that respect for yourself and in turn, with that self-respect, others will have respect for you, okay? Alrighty, so let's move to your partner or the person that you're interested in, okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me Sagittarius's person who they're interested in or who they are in a relationship with. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me Sagittarius' person. Show me this person, please. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we have the waiting game that shot out. We also have heartache and loss, the three of swords, and partnerships and alliances with disruption. Obstacles and challenges. Okay, something is a challenge. This is a big challenge in your life. <clears throat> um, I feel like this person has been waiting. Okay, things are up in the air for this person. Okay, with heartache and loss, there could be a lot of pain between the two of you, a breakup even. Uh, could be a third party with the uh, Three of Swords energy. This partnership, these two came out together. Partnership with disruption. This partnership and alliance with disruption, something is breaking up. Something is tearing down. When you get the energy of the tower, scorpionic energy is here. So something is a challenge because it's it's time for this to separate. It's time for it to be broken down. The tower is falling, okay, with this partnership. Could have been a friend for some of you. For some of you, it's a friendship that's breaking down, okay? You could have been friends with this person for years. Some of you, I'm feeling years, okay? For others of you, it could have been a short time that you were friends with someone. Maybe you trusted them. You thought that they were a good friend. Maybe um, this person even, you know, waited to tell you something. But I feel like when they told you or when they're going, what they're going to tell you or what they have to say is going to hurt you, okay? Some of you could have already experienced this. I'm getting past energy as well. Could have been recent past or distant past, that there's been an obstacle and a challenge. We still have base chakra here. Oh, wow. Base chakra, but with passion ignited right behind it. Scorpio's energy right behind that with the transformation card. You're getting the truth about something, Sagittarius. For some of you, take it as it resonates. I know it won't be the, the same for all of you and your person. But with this person, I feel like they are they are coming to a truth and they have something to confess to you or to tell you. Okay, this could have been a very sexual connection for some of you when you get passion ignited with base chakra, the devil energy very sexual energy coming through, okay? And this has been the obstacle and challenge for some of you. Maybe it, it was just sex, sex, sex. And I, I think that I got that, yeah, I got that energy for, for you guys a couple of weeks ago where it, for your Valentine's message, all someone could do was think about was sex or something like that uh, was the title of it. But I feel like someone is cutting off this connection um, or the, the foundation of this connection is being shaken. Whenever you get the tower with partnerships and alliances, something is being shaken here, okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on? Tell me more about this energy for Sagittarius's person. What are they thinking, feeling, their emotions towards Sag? What are they thinking, feeling, this person? What are they thinking and feeling towards Sagittarius? Whoa, I had the deck upside down. I'm sorry, you guys. Queen of Wands. Okay, <laughs> that's your energy. You could be dealing with a fellow um, fire sign. Very passionate, very passionate energy. Okay, what's going on with this person? Leo's energy is here. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign. Uh, some of you are dealing with a Leo or someone who has that energy. Someone is going through something tough. Look at that. 
Oh, man. There's been a lot of struggles between the two of you. Four of Wands with the Death card. You guys, I feel like there's an ending here. There's an ending here, okay? With the Four of Wands and Death, Scorpio's energy is here with Leo, okay? Also, Sag and Aries. This has been tough, and I feel like it's going to be tough on you, okay? I feel like this person knows that it's going to be tough to tell you this or to say this to you. For some of you, this could be an ending to a job. Your person could be, uh, it doesn't have to be a romantic connection. It could be a friend that's um, that, that the story is resonating with, okay? So keep an open mind. But I feel like there's some type of ending here and it's going to be difficult uh, for whoever is ending it. This person is going to be difficult for them to end it, okay? Um, I feel like they've had a hard time with you. With the waiting game, there's been a lot of waiting around or this person has had you waiting. There's been a lot of pain here with the Three of Swords. And like I said, if this is a love situation, it could be a third party energy. And now we have Four of Wands with death. I'm telling you, there's some type of ending towards something that was stable, okay? Something that you felt was reliable or something that you could trust in, okay? Someone may be moving from a home. When you get the Four of Wands, it's home energy because someone is a bit selfish with the Nine of Cups, maybe drinking involved, Page of Cups, someone trying to apologize. Someone could be, you know what I feel with this? An apology may come in from vice versa, either you or your person with this energy and someone may not even want it. Someone may not even want to hear it or they may not accept it because they're, they're too concentrated on what went wrong with this connection. Okay. Someone has a lot of regrets in this connection. Okay. What is this? Okay. That's too many. <laughs> what does this person want to say to Sag? Okay. Look at that. Sex addiction. Sex addiction. Okay, there could have been cheating involved for some of you. Look at that. I fucked up badly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. I apologize and I mean it. See, I just said that. I literally just said that. Someone could try to apologize, but maybe it's not good enough for you, Sag. Maybe it's just not good enough for you. They're, they Even if they mean it, sometimes an apology is not enough. And someone is saying, I chose another lover over you. Look at that. Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. Someone messed up in this connection. At the bottom of the deck, my life is dark and lonely without you. Your love is light. That's for some of you. Take the messages as they resonate. It could be one of these cards or all of them uh, that your person is wanting to say. But I feel like there is an ending because someone chose another lover. Okay? And the stories could always be flipped. So put the characters where they go. But your person is wanting to say, I chose another lover over you. I apologize for it. You know, they could be saying, you know making excuses like, oh, I had a sex addiction. I fucked up, you know, just take me back. And you're like, no, you know, some of you are saying, no, you're moving on. That's what I got in your spread was that moving on card. And it's like with a lot of sadness, with a lot of regret, it's not that you want to necessarily move on from this person, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's the hurt, the pain, the betrayal that's causing you to pick up everything and say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Okay. Others of you may choose to work it out, but I see that most of you are choosing to move on from this hurtful or painful situation. Alrighty, Sagittarius, that is your energy for this week for you and your person. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you guys in your next reading. Take care. Bye.